Hey y'all, it's Nona. And today I'm here with an update for my backups project pan. A lot of you probably don't even know <laughs> that I do this project. Um, I rarely talk about it on my channel. I suck at panning stuff. I really do. Um, and I have a huge collection, so I'm always, you know, getting new stuff and wanting to try stuff. And I just, I can't put my heart into project panning. I just, I don't know. I just don't have it in me, but, but I want to do it. <laughs> um, there are products I want to use up, um, and they are stuff that I have backups of. I have come to find out that my uh, collection is so huge that I don't need a backup of anything. And I just keep buying them. I, it's like an addiction. <laughs> but, um, anyways, this isn't to, you know, talk about my huge collection or anything. Because I love my collection. And I plan on continuing to buy. I know things expire. I know they go bad. Blah, 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 blah. So, any of those kind of comments you have, I've heard them all before. Um, if you want to take the time to type them out to me, that's fine. But they're not going to change my mind. So, anyways. Um. So needless to say, I created this little project several years ago. This could be three years, four years I've been doing it. And um, it's a rolling project. And I just chose a full face of makeup out of my backup drawer and uh, started using it. Um, and as I use something up, I just roll something else in from the drawer. Um, I, I had said, you know, I was going to update monthly in the beginning, and then I was going to update quarterly, and I just don't, because I don't get much progress, and I just feel like people don't want to watch um, updates on a project that, you know, is so boring. <laughs> but anyway, some people have, you know, asked me about different things that I'm handing and stuff, so I thought I'd go ahead and update it. I'm not going to put a time frame on here about the next time I will update, just whenever I feel like it. I feel like I have enough progress or whatever I'll do it again but uh, mostly this is just for me to use up stuff in my backup drawer if anyone wants to do this pa uh, project with me feel free to jump in um, so anyways let's just start when I started I had different foundations in the foundation I'm working on right now is the Revlon Candid in number, number 130 and I have this much left it's very flat. Uh, I have a very large uh, fat face and I like full coverage so it's easy for me to use up foundation. It's it's one of the fastest things that I use up. Um, then let's see concealer. I started out with other concealers but now I'm using the um, AOA Pawpaw concealer and it is a squeezy tube. This is from Shop Miss A. I think it's a dollar fifty-five, and that's how much I've used. It's got some up here as well, but it's definitely um, moving on down. So happy with my progress on that. I've used up other concealers so before this one was here. Then this um, is what I used as my eye base ninety-nine percent of the time was the AOA Wonder Cover Concealer in White. This one is empty. Uh, this one is going to be in my empties this month, or depends on when I put this up, but this one is in an empties. This one's empty. It was my absolute favorite. I've used it for several years, but I can't uh, find it anymore on the site. On Shop and Say, it's um, out of stock, and it has been for months and months, and um, I'm just thinking they're discontinuing it, and I'm very sad because I absolutely love this. So anyways, this one went empty, so then I rolled in this one. It is also... Um, from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Top Secret Concealer, and it is also in white, and it looks like this. This is a potted concealer, and that doesn't look white to me. It looks like it has some color to it, but anyways, it's not as full coverage as the uh, one in the tu tube. Um, it doesn't dry down as well. It's I, I don't like it as much. I like it, um, but it doesn't it, it's not as white, so it doesn't make the shadows pop as as much. But uh, for now, this is what I'm using in it, and I rolled this in for the one I used up. This is the brow pencil I'm using. I've used up several in this project. The last one I had was the 
the Browy Wowie by LA Colors. And so then I rolled in this one by Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil. It comes with a spoolie on this end. And then this is it. I have this much left. So this won't last. This will be done fairly quickly. So I do. I love this. This is really good. It's a dollar. I have been having this Wet n Wild Mega Last Blackest Black retractable eyeliner in here forever it's filthy looking um but this is how much i have left oh gosh a lot <laughs> this is not a very good eyeliner it does not stay in my waterline um you kind of have to push to get it to go on it's not very creamy this is just not good i would totally not repurchase this but it's like a vendetta i'm gonna use it up one of these years <laughs> Um, I've been using this Too Faced Unicorn Tears. Um, this is like a liquid highlighter, and I'm like right here. Um, I had this in forever before I even started using it. Um, but I started mixing, uh, putting it on, and then putting my foundation on top of it. And that's how I've gotten so much usage on it. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm actually using that. Um, okay, and then see the primer that I'm using now I finished up the AOA illuminating primer and so then I rolled in this elf poreless putty primer this is the original one and this is how much I've used um, I got a lot to go but I like it. it it's good about covering up my pores everyone says it's a dupe for the Tatcha one I don't know I like them both but, uh, so there's that. Then the powder I'm using is the L'Oreal True Match powder. And this one is in W1. And as you can see, the compact is empty. And that's because it was just right around the edge. And I don't really repress stuff very often. What I do with, like, powder and stuff, I just crumble it up. So I put the remainder in this little tub. And this is all that's left. Just that little bit. Um, it's like just here just barely anything left in here this won't take me very long at all to finish up but it's not done until this is done I like that powder it's not my favorite it's just a basic powder I really prefer the formula of the Rimmel uh, stay matte but I hate the the container it's in the lid just lifts off instead of latching like a regular compact and I just hate that so anyways <laughs> Uh, the bronzer I've been panning for literally years is this Wet n Wild Color Icon in Bikini Contest. It's filthy. <laughs> it took me years to hit pan. I finally have some pan there. And it's super duper thin all the way around. Uh, you can totally see the rings. But this is still going to take me years. <laughs> I love this. I love this bronzer. I don't think they make it in this big, giant, round compact anymore. They have one that's called Bikini Contest. I don't know if it's exactly the same color or formula, but it's in like a, a square package now. So, I really liked these. Um, I hate it that they're discontinuing. This one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Reserve Your Cabana. This is called a bronzer. There's no way this is a bronzer on anyone. Um, and they... Disqual disqual <laughs> they discontinued this one, I know, and it's so sad. Um, this is what everybody uses as a finishing powder. I just have that little bit left. It either needs to be broken up or repressed or something, but I love this stuff. I have one more, and I just don't know if I'm going to put it in this project. I bought another powder from Shop Miss A that I'm going to test out and see if it's similar. Um... But anyways, yeah, I'll be super sad when this one's gone. I love it. Okay, the blush is Milani Luminoso. This is the OG Luminoso. And this is a baked blush, and it takes forever to use. And this is what I've got. The dome is pretty much worn away. Just very, very little bit is still sitting above it. And I have pan here, plate, whatever you call this. And it's very thin here as well. My friend Kim had asked what 
my progress was on it. So that's one of the reasons I did this project pan update was so I could show her that. Very exciting. Still going to take me years. <laughs> but that is such a warm tone blush. And I've been really enjoying cream products lately that I decided to uh, roll in this Believe Beauty. It is a cream uh, blush in doll face. And this is the uh, Dollar General's um, house line of makeup. And this one is more uh, cool tone, more pinky. And it's a great formula and I just really, really like it a lot. I use my fingers to apply it most of the time and I put it on on top of powders and everything and it's just really great. Now this, I don't know, this would probably last me a lifetime. <laughs> But I just rolled that in just to have a, a, you know, a more cool tone option for blush. This is the highlighter I've been painting for years. It is Blushed Gems. It is the Elf Baked Highlighter. This is their super old school line back when everything was like a dollar. And I've hit, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> whatever you call that, uh, tab, whatever. They, they say, you know, it's baked onto something. It's not like a pan, but... Anyways, I've been using it and using it. This is going to last a lifetime. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, I used up this Too Faced Better Than Sex Little Mini Mascara. And so, I rolled in this Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mini in its place. I love this. I thought Too Faced Better Than Sex was a good mascara. This is awesome i love the, the brush the shape of the wand um it's like a little skinny christmas tree i love it it's such a good formula this is my new favorite mascara i absolutely love this so um let's do setting sprays i use or whatever these are i use this as a setting spray it is not advertised as a setting spray so it's not gonna probably not going to extend the life of your makeup but it does great it's like melding powders together refreshing or what have you foiling shadows this is the valero hydrating facial mist watermelon and sweet mint i had this one in used it up and then i rolled in the um jelly nutrient mist bamboo bamboo and rose water it's also by valero i use these all the time to fill my shadows and it is already about here so i've been using it for a little bit now I love these. They are four ounces and they cost $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And then the last thing <laughs> that I'm going to talk about, there's a bunch of other stuff on my tray here that uh, I use once in a while, but anyways, I'm not going to talk about all that crap. Um, these are the main things that I use regularly. Uh, these are four Milani lipsticks. I love this formula. Um, this one is number 38 double espresso and it's a metallic this is the packaging it's dirty these smell so good some of them smell like vanilla and I like that one but the ones I like the best are the ones that smell like watermelon and it's very strong if you do not like scents you will hate these but I absolutely love it and this is the shade it's a beautiful metallic dark chocolate brown um, I have it marked here on the lid Let's see if it's went down at all. And actually, it has. I can make a new mark. Oh, my goodness. Let's do that. I'm super stoked. Wow. Go Nona. <laughs> I just made a mess all over this lid, but goodness gracious, that's a, that don't happen often for me. So there's the new line. Can you see that? Look at me making a little progress. And then the next one is Teddy Bear. This used to be my absolute favorite lip color. Again, yummy watermelon. This is the shade. This is the one I use the most out of these. And here is the mark. And let's see if we can make a new one. Oh, yes, we can. Very little, but we can do it. 
so I am so excited. I suck at this. <laughs> the line's all crooked, but <laughs> you get the gist. <laughs> I would have thought that one would have moved more than the brown one. Um, the next one is Naturally Chic. This is one that smells like vanilla. It's a beautiful nude shade. These are all like creams, except the, um, um, the brown one is a metallic. Uh, but there's this one, and here's the lid. Let's see if we can make a new mark. And uh, yes, we can. Oh my goodness. Who am I? Yo, I'm so stoked. There's the new mark. I mean, these are going to take me a lifetime. I have no idea why I rolled in four at, at the same time, but I did. So here we are. And then this one is the nude cream. Number 26. Mm, so yummy. Very pretty. And let's check it out. Um, yeah. Just a tiny little bit. I don't know if y'all can see. But it's a very tiny little bit. I mean, it's barely under the first line. So... They almost look like the same line, but that first line I wrote is like super thick. So there's actually a little space between the two of those, but I'm super stoked that I actually have movement on those. So anyways, <laughs> that's everything. That's my little update for my project pen. Um, and again, I, like I say, I don't know when I'll be back to do another one, but eventually. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't a real project pan. This is just for me, you know, to have something to focus on because my my collection is so so large that you know it's hard for me to focus on specific products and see any movement at all. So, and I generally do not like to see movement in my products. I like them to look pristine and brand new and pretty. But these products, I don't have to feel that way about because I have another one. So. I don't know. It's a crazy, it's a crazy thing that no one understands but me. So anyways, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.